Hello and welcome to our lesson on solving mixed problems with fractions. So in this lesson we're going to use the order of operations and the rules of arithmetic to work out questions A, B, C and D. So we'll begin with question A where we have 5 halves multiplied by 1 quarter add 3 fifths and because the addition is in brackets we're going to work this bit out first. So to work out 1 quarter add 3 fifths we need a common denominator and this will be 20 because it's the lowest common multiple of 4 and 5. So to write each fraction over 20 we're going to multiply the 1 quarter by 5 so we get 5 over 20 and we'll multiply the 3 fifths by 4 and this will give us 12 over 20. So now we can add the 5 twentieths and the 12 twentieths to give us 17 twentieths. So I'll rewrite the calculation. We have 5 over 2 multiplied by 17 over 20. So now we can write this multiplication simpler using cross simplification. And this is where you find the highest common factor of a numerator in one fraction and the denominator in another. So we'll divide both by 5. So now we have 1 half multiplied by 17 over 4. And to work this out, we'll multiply the numerators so we get 17. And we'll do the same with the denominators so we get 8. So we get 17 over 8. Okay, let's move on to question B. So in question B, you can see we have the two thirds to take away three tenths in brackets. So again, we'll do this bit first. And now we need a common denominator, which in this case will be 30. So we'll multiply two thirds by 10. And this will give us 20 over 30. We'll multiply the three tenths by three. And then we'll get nine over 30. And 20 thirtieths take away 9 thirtieths gives us 11 thirtieths. So I can write this now in place of the brackets. So we have 1 and 1 half multiplied by 11 thirtieths. And to work out this multiplication, I need to write this mixed number at the top of every fraction. So you can see we have 2 halves in the 1 plus the 1 half here. So this is 3 halves multiplied by 11 over 30 and again we can cross simplify because the 3 and the 30 both divide by 3 so I'll write this out again and we get 1 over 2 multiplied by 11 over 10 and this works out as 1 times 11 which is 11 and then over 20 Okay, let's try question C. So for question C, we're going to work out five quarters, take away one third first. So we'll use a common denominator of 12. And five times three will give us 15. One times four will give us four. So 15 twelfths take away four twelfths gives us 11 twelfths. So now we have one third divided by 11 twelfths. And when we work out a division, we need to do the opposite twice because the two opposites will cancel. What I mean by this is we have the one third will do the opposite of this division, which is a multiplication, and then we'll do the opposite of this 11 twelfths. This is called the reciprocal of 11 twelfths. And all we do is we flip it upside down to find the opposite. So 12 over 11. And now we can cross simplify with this denominator and this numerator, we'll divide both by three. So this becomes one over one multiplied by four over 11. So four elevenths. Okay, let's try question D. So in question D, we're going to use the order of operations again. And you can see that the division comes before the addition. So we're going to work out 1 and 1 quarter divided by 5 over 7 before the addition of 1 quarter here. I need to write this mixed number at the top of the fraction. 
So we have four quarters in the one, plus the one quarter here. So we have five quarters divided by five sevenths. We'll write this as a multiplication. So five quarters, we'll change the divide to a times. We'll find the reciprocal of five sevenths, which is seven fifths. And now we can cross simplify, where this five and this five both divide by five. So we get 1 over 4 multiplied by 7 over 1, and this is 7 quarters. So now we can write this 7 quarters in place of this division. So we have 7 quarters added to 1 quarter, which is 8 quarters, which is 2. Okay, thank you for watching, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.